Hey Gavox here, so Out of Position is here along with Ghosts of Madden present. Let's go ahead and take a look at them on the block before we, uh, you know, buy packs and uh, kind of evaluate from there. So, we are all kind of hoping for a Megatron, and today getting a Megatron wide receiver would have been a little strange because we have the NFL 100 wide receivers, but to be fair, you know, it's kind of what, five months into the game, we don't have wide receiver Megatron yet? Silly, right? Should we be getting one soon? I think so, but I guess with uh, where EA has, we don't know. So there's a lot of, uh, as you see, new um, guys. Here's the 95 Megatron free safety. Let's look at that one first, and we'll kind of go go back. So six foot five, 91 speed, 87 hit power. He doesn't get enforcer because for his zone out ac uh, uh, archetype, he has to be 95, which is unfortunate because enforcer is such a way of life here in Madden with the run game being where it's at. So not being able to get it is kind of a detriment. But if you're okay with having your enforcers elsewhere or you run like some universal coverage or something like that out there and you're new Richard Sherman, it's fine because not only 3 out of 11 players can have abilities anyways. So agility, acceleration, pretty nice. Um, we'll c c go ahead and compare him to my current free safety, Ronnie Lott. Same speed. So actually Megatron powered up is one faster than Lott. Lott, of course, you know, is a, is a mean animal out there with the enforcer. You know, stats comparable to a top-end card at 6.5, pretty nice. Will he play, play a lot better than his uh, last card, his, like, 91 overall? Maybe slightly, you know, a little bit faster. I don't actually have that one, but... Oh, there, I got the 90 overall. Um, he'll play a little bit better than that, but... Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, Don't you won't get spec caught generally with Megatron. Is it a, is it a hard buy? 4.44 right now. Uh, four four thirty nine. I mean, it's not a terrible price, right? It's it's pretty much. Uh, I don't know if it's it's the value of. No, I don't think that's down. I'd have to update the spreadsheet a little bit to see if that's the value of kindling or not. Uh, but Patrick Ricard is another one. Let's look at Mike Evans CB ninety speed ninety six man coverage. Wow. You know, usually when these make these out of position cards, in the past they're thought of as like physical beasts, somebody tall and fast. With Agile, but now they got like 96 man coverage, essentially like the greatest man coverage corner of all time. A little, I, I, I don't think it's themed correctly. I don't think it's done correctly with how these uh, auto positions traditionally you think of them. Like, because right now, like Mike Evans and his technique for man coverage is just about unparalleled in game. And I don't know, kind of weird, weird in my opinion. So 90 speed, nothing, nothing great there compared to what our cor current corners are, like with the. Uh, NFL 100 guys. Oh, I got Richard Sherman. Yeah, ignore that guy. I just did my power pass on him. Uh, I'll probably hit, wait for the NFL 100 tonight. So, Rod Woods the 93, Night Train Lane, and Dion is kind of like his competition. And actually, you know, Mike Evans is not too bad at all. Um, kind of like Richard Sherman. Tall, fast. You got to boost that, boost that uh, press up a little bit. No power up to get his speed up anymore, so... Even worse speed than Sherman, and that was a lot of people's complaints about Sherman being too slow. So, Mike Evans may be a little slow, but he'd be great in like a cover two type of system. You can always put him in position at safety too, or, or user him uh, back there at his, his height. Him and Megatron are pretty freaking similar there. Patrick Ricard at defensive tackle, block shedding 93. Better block shedding than many professional defensive tackles. Power moves is whatever too. So, 93 overall, not that great, uh, but uh, Taysom Hill. Tight end out of position. I mean, he's not. He's not. He's not trash though. So Taysom Hill. It'd be kind of cool if they made like you know how they made a specific formation for Taysom Hill that apparently is like taking over and winning tournaments and stuff with the uh, Saints playbook. This tight end is only just a tight end. He can't substitute in for like quarterback or he can't use some of the Saints. I just don't think Madden is made that way. But ninety speed, six two, decent route running, catching is decent too. Uh, what does the blocking stats look like? Throw power, 79. Uh, run block, 72. Not terrible. Not terrible with uh, juke move at 90. Spin move at 87. Wow. So they got tier A juke moves on him too and 76 in block. Crazy. How do I taste him? All right. Next up is Joe Webb out of position at wide receiver. 89 speed at 6'4". You know, you can do a lot worse there. At 6'4 is a, a very cromulent height. Yeah, not the fastest. Not the greatest route runner. Uh, but but another solid card. You know, obviously this one's not going to go on top end teams. But it is fun to have um, fun cards, right? Out of position, Josh Allen. 
the other Josh Allen. Uh, 89 finesse move. Not bad, I guess. He's not that out of position. All right, Landon Collins, middle linebacker. 83. This mattered like a, I feel like this mattered a little bit more a few years ago. Now with the ability to put safeties in that middle linebacker spots and nickel, like this out of position isn't as important. And he's 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 not that fast. He hits hard, bad zone coverage. So more of like a I guess a theme team guy, but you can't put him on middle linebacker and safety on the same theme team. So yeah. I don't know. All right, so that's uh out of position that we got launched today. We're gonna hopefully grab ourselves a uh, a Megatron. We also got, ooh, never mind. Before I get that, before I go to the sets, I'll go through the um, Ghost of Madden or present that we got today. We also got a teaser that I got to show you guys about. So Ghost of Madden present is a little bit of a present because they're really cool cards. Todd Gurley, 90 speed, 93 agility, 93 break tackle. Oop, already bought. Uh, 91 elusiveness. Not a bad card at all. Obviously, with the introduction of 94's uh, Dickerson Sanders, he is a little bit underwhelming compared to them on the speed front and the activated X Factor. But if you're a big Gurley fan, if you've got a Rams theme team and you need a backup to Dickerson, Ty Gurley is, is more than cromulent. Let's see his juke and his spin. Run block, or sorry, pass block is only 60 for all the blitzers out there. Spin move 83, but he gets 92 juke, so he gets a tier move on, on juke. So that's not bad. I don't I don't mind the girly card. He usually runs pretty good in game. Leighton Vanderesh, 86 speed at 6'4. Uh, I want to take a look at his zone rating. Zone coverage. Where are we? Acceleration 91, agility 89. Not a bad user either. Um impact block 83, which sounds a little bit better. Block shit 85. Zone coverage 79. So. If you end up powering up, he'll have 80 zone coverage, which is which is pretty good. I mean, he's not going to react perfectly, but he'll react pretty well at 80. I don't mind it. Not 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 the greatest of. I, I still prefer like a out of position Shaz if you have a, a white or something. But Leighton Vander Esch, the 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 coverage linebackers are not that good in this game. Patrick Mahomes, the one everybody was looking forward to, he is now in game with a 94 overall. He does get escape artist, which is huge. So when you power him up to 82 speed. He'll have throw power. He'll have like upper 90s throw power. Accuracies all over 90, which is where you need. Under pressure on the run. He'll get dashing dead eye. So yeah, this Patrick Mahomes is. I don't want to say end game because he doesn't get the perfect of abilities, but he's pretty dang close to it. He is, he is, you're gonna see a lot of this Mahomes online. He is uh the evolution of Andrew Luck, right? A higher throw power, Andrew Luck. Yeah, and uh He's gonna be gorgeous. So what are we using on stream today? We'll be streaming a couple times a day. One in the middle of the day. One at night. And then uh, here's the JJ Watt. Here's a set piece. Or the last of the set piece. Let me go Let me go to this one. So JJ Watt. Sadly, JJ Watt in this game is never statted really well. I mean, like, look at JJ compared to Reggie White. The block shed. I mean, he's got plus three power moves and plus six block shed. I mean, how the heck is JJ Watt going to play better than, J than, than Reggie White? Like, Reggie's is very good, but he's straight up better than JJ. What, is, what does JJ have that White doesn't have? Agility? White's faster, more acceleration? I mean, what does an agility do for defense linemen? Hmm. Tackling. Yeah, I don't know. A little disappointed when the JJ. I always am. His, sh his, his stats always suck. I, I just don't get it. Why, do his Why does his block shit always suck? It kind of ruins him in a running meta. I mean, but the thing is, like, a lot of that is... A lot of these things are animation-based, so the block shed doesn't play as much. But, I mean, it's, the block shed still matters. On some on some runs, it will matter. Hit power's not even 90. Huh. JJ Watt, what a disappointment of a card. Cool card art, disappointing stats. Weird. Uh, but that's it for present. Let's go to the, let's go to the sets. We'll, we'll see if there's any way of making coins off that before we pull packs. But... I really want to uh, zero chill. I'll pull a lot more packs on stream too, but let's get some going here. So Ghost of Madden present, JJ Watt. This is the only set that we have. Those three, get them back. And then uh, you get the required players back. Nah, just like the Terry McLaurin, or just like the Terry McLaurin set. So we also got a teaser screen uh, in game. Or sorry, not in game, but on the uh, Good Madden Morning. So high of 34, low of 24. 
So when you look at like uh, jersey numbers, so we're looking at like 34s and 24s. 34, Earl Campbell, Franco Harris, Walter Payton, Joe Perry, Thurman Thomas. Weird that Franco Harris has both 32 and 34. Weird, uh, but uh, so it could be Walter Payton's on his way. That'd be kind of neat. Otherwise, a lot of people said 34 is Bo Jackson. Was another uh, alternate. Lance Allworth could be somebody that we get, but he might he'd be coming in the NFL 100 if they have his rights. Champ Bailey, which is like odds-on favorite. We got Willie Brown, which we already have a high card out. Jack Christensen, Ty Law, who has gotten a ghost in the past, could be a, a possibility. Uh, John Blood McNally, uh, Lenny Moore, and Willie Wood. So we've had a Willie, but uh, I think the odds in favorite are Champ Bailey or Ty Law. So two corners probably coming with uh, that on Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. With NFL 100 coming tonight and tomorrow, Sundays generally has no content. And uh, so Monday's looking for our next zero trill job. But let's look at, let's get some packs. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go to the opposition. Out of position uh, sets here. Master Megatron. Put those two in for Megatron. That's pretty cheap. Huh. Or at least I feel like it. Wait, do you get him back Nat? No, it doesn't say that. You just get Master Megatron and his power up. So two players for a Megatron. Not bad, not bad at all. Don't mind it. Okay, let's uh let's pull some let's pull some fantasy packs. Let's see if we can't get something. 100,000 coins. All right, anything. Like a Mahomes would be kind of sweet straight off the bat. Straight off the rip. Give me a Patrick. Nope, bad animation, right? Yeah, 82. Sad. Sad. Boo. All right, bad animation again. Terrible. Bad team of the week animation. Bad Frost animation. Bad Frost animation. All right, so let's take uh, 82. What do we got? Four picks. 83. 80. 83. Next. Bad. Come on. We need, a, we need a big one. Come on. Just one big, big Frost. Frostman. Yeah, big one. Come on. Holy shit, we got a 93. That is not fucking bad at all. Woo! Look at us, Ma. We lucked out. Chris Lindstrom. Yay us. All right. Let's uh pull another. Another 100K. Hundo, hundo, hundo. If you're spitting out 93s, I'll take a 93, 94. That's a, that's a make my coin back type of pack right there, Jack. All right. Bad animation. No wings, bad animation. Destroyed, bad animation. Unfavorable animation. Terrible animation. Rip, no animation. Terrible. All right, 84 and 86, not bad. Uh, we're just looking. We're just looking for the 90 pluses because we're greedy boys. Bad animation. Horrible animation. The 89, though. Come on, big one! All right, we'll take 89. We don't mind. We don't mind 89s. We didn't lose our pants off of this pack. You know, we got an 86 and an 89. 100k. I don't think. It, I don't think it makes my coins up, but it's not bad. Not bad one bit. Come on. We need them good Disney style cartoons. Don't give me the. Don't give me those crappy Hanna Barbera shit. We want our homes. We want one piece of that JJ set. I'll be fine with any of the any of the 94s. Todd Gurley, I would even take. I am not a man of. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, taste. Man of good looks. Man of. So, oh shit! 91. That was a good animation. What the fuck? I thought that animation looked different, but I was like, wait. Okay, so out of position has its own unique animation versus the big big things. That is neat. We got ourselves a taste of. That is fucking tasty. All right. Let's get even greener. Give me even better luck. Come on, YouTuber luck. Stacked odds. 
Stack thumb, stack thumb, stack thumb. Nah. Uh, I have to decide, does an 87 Sam Hubbard go for more than a, a Tony G? Probably, right? 87s. I should, I should have my... Uh, uh, so, so Hubbard goes for 30k, and Gonzalez goes for 17k. Yeah, he does go for it. All right, 30k. So I believe with the 91, we did end up making our coins back. 91 plus the 30k from there. So another good pack. Let's keep going. Let's keep going until we bust. Well, maybe on my other channel is where I do my busting. Also, greatest song of all time, Bustin'. KKL's favorite, at least. So, fantasy packs. Not too terrible for me so far. How have you guys' fantasy packs been? Have you guys uh, been able to get some glitchy pulls? I'm just looking at the big animations. I've got some good cards outside of the animations. Like that 86. I was surprised. And, okay, that was a bad one. Alright, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We got an 86. That's not, that's no mind. 86, 85. You know, that's like a 40k. Those two combined? I don't know which one's better. Chandler! Chandler, where would you rank amongst the friends? I wonder how he ranks amongst his friends. Alright, two two underwhelming Collinses. And we need a big one. Big old shiny animation. Flashback. Mm, 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 mm. Joe Hayden. The Steeler. Joe Hayden's going for 45k. And how much is Collins? I should remember because we were just looking at it. Landon Collins out of position has no price on Mudhead yet. He has wait, why doesn't he have a price on Mudhead yet? And I can't update it. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the 88 overall. Alright. Pull another one. That wasn't a bad pack. Not bad at all. 86. I mean, kind of a kind of an unexciting pack, because they're all mid eighties, but not like didn't lose my ass off on that pack. Maybe, we'll, maybe we should roll for the 94 set. All right, after this pack, we'll roll the 94 set. Ooh, this video's going on a long time. Sorry, guys. I get too addicted. Nope. Big. So how are you guys liking the uh, winter promo so much? Zero chill. I think zero chill, it's kind of like we're getting content, what, every other day, and, and we're getting uh, solid content, I think. Some exciting players. So it's like... Weird, right? Like, we're used to content kind of like every day, but I think I prefer usable content every other day like we're getting right now. Like, we, in the past, we've got veterans, flashback heavyweights. Might as well have been no content. But now, awesome. Ah, shoot. All right. Yeah, we busted on that pack. That wasn't that good, but uh, you, know, you know how it is. Whatever. All right, moving on. Let's roll one of these. 94 ghosts. Who are we going to get? Mahomes, Gurley. Who's the other one? Shoot. I'm already I'm already dead brained. I'm probably going to roll the other one just to remind us. Mahomes, 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 Mahomes. Come on, what ice you got? Yeah! Woo! Best one of the three. Good work, us. So now we just need is is power up. Yeah, that's going to be kind of a blast. All right. Catch me on Twitch later today. And I'll, uh, I'm going to power up my homes and get them. Otherwise, thanks for watching Call to Action. I will see you guys tomorrow.